Hey, this next video that I'm going to do is a little bit different. It's kind of a woodworking video, but it's inspired by my daughter, JC, who kind of pushed me into doing a video. She says, Dad, grab the camera. I want to do a video and I want you to put it up on your YouTube channel. I said, okay. So i got to back up here. My daughter's quite ill and I made her a walking stick, which she's quite proud of. And she really is pushing me to build more walking sticks. So. I'm gonna do it, but uh, let me introduce you to my daughter, Jacy. Hey. Hey. You doing? Hi, my name is Jacy Franceschi, and I'm Blair Glenn's daughter. I, about four years ago, was diagnosed with leukemia, and I did six months of chemotherapy, and I got better, and unfortunately, I got sick again. And I was lucky enough to get a bone marrow transplant at Stanford two years ago. And I'm still in recovery. It's taken quite a toll on me and I'm very, very different than I used to be. But my dad made me something that has made a huge difference in my recovery and I'm holding it here. As you can see, part of my treatment has caused me to lose my eyesight. For the most part, I'm very visually impaired. And now some of you might think that the stick is just because I can't see it. It's really not true. It's actually it has a lot of really good uses that I didn't realize until after I started using it. Um, and, and one of the biggest things for me is because I have lost so much strength that I get really fatigued very quickly. What I can do is when I'm waiting in line, when I'm out and about, I can take the weight off my legs by leaning on the head of my stick. Um, and it's the perfect height for me because it's right at my chest wall. And when I do this, I take the weight off my legs. And it gives me a lot more time to be able to stand up before I fatigue. It really helps me. So that's one of the reasons that I like it. And the other thing, um, well, besides the, it's got, it's got this great face on it that is a wonderful grip for my hand. The other thing about a wood walking stick that people don't always consider is the sweat factor. If you've ever had to use a cane, you know that as you're walking, your hand will start to slip on the grip and it feels really kind of gross. With wood, you have a much nicer, um, porous feeling um, and your hand just doesn't slip. It feels smooth, but it doesn't slip like on plastic or metal one of the beautiful things about having a real wood stick. The other thing, and this is really kind of funny, something I never thought about before I had the stick, but it has saved me so many times. And I'm gonna show you something that is actually pretty disgusting. And, and don't worry, it doesn't hurt, but one of the things I have to do is I have to take some medication that makes me bleed very easily. As you can see on my arms here, I have some bleeding here, and I accidentally dropped something on my foot and I had some bleeding there. But one of the things that used to really get me is that when you get out of the car and it's windy and you're a weakling like me, sometimes the wind will blow the car back door on you and it got my leg one time. So what I started to do with my staff is as I get out of the car, I put the staff down, then I put my leg down. That way, if the wind comes, hits the door, it hits the stick first, not my foot or my leg. Believe it or not, that has saved my foot so many times. Also, when I go to get down out of the car, if it's my husband's truck, my legs are very weak so I can use my arm to support myself on the way down. I also can use it to push off on the way up. Um, and then when I ride with Gina, my stepmom, it's a low car and that's also really hard for me to get down to. So I can use the stick here. See how out of breath I get just talking? I can use the stick to lower myself down. It really helps me out. Um, you know, also because I am visually impaired, I can slide it across the ground to feel divots in the road, um, changes in the asphalt, all things that you really don't think about unless you need one and you use one. The thing that was surprising to me when I started using it is I kept thinking, why didn't I ever use one of these when I was able-bodied, fully sighted? It would have been awesome. I would have totally enjoyed it. It's, it's, uh, it's like having like an extra appendage. It's really kind of nice, like an extra leg or an arm. Um, so uh, anyway, I, I started talking to my dad because everywhere I go, it's pretty catching. You know, if I go to Stanford, everyone always asks me, where'd you get your stick? And I was like, well, my dad made it. And they always, well, we want one, of course, you know, <laughs> everybody loves them. Um, but I, I really like to explain why not only disabled people would love it, but able-bodied people as well. Not just for hiking, just to like have in the car, um, or just to keep near the door. Also, um, it's, it's kind of a good uh, story also when, when you meet people and, and you, you can just sort of explain like, 
it's a one of a kind. And the other thing that's cool about my dad and the way that he makes his walking sticks is that he's an arborist, right? So all the trees that he uses, he actually took down himself. So he knows where they came from, what kind of wood they are, pretty much how old they were. Um, and if you really wanted to know, he could probably tell you like what the tree saw, you know, like where it was looking out at. And I kind of like that um, because I hold this all day long. So it's kind of becomes a personal thing to me, um, especially because I can't see very well anymore. Um, anyway, I just wanted to explain why I love my stick, why I think anybody could use a walking staff, why they make a great gift. Um, obviously they're super personal um, and it's, uh, I'm a young disabled person. I don't want to use a cane, you know? I don't want to look like I'm using a cane. I, don't, I feel like this is way cooler. So anyway, not to sell it, but this is why I love it. And that's my explanation of why I think everyone should have a walking stick. Thanks for listening to me. Keep watching my dad's YouTube videos. They're pretty awesome. I enjoy them just as much as you do. Um, and encourage the walking staff. Um, and just, you know, make sure that uh, if you want one, let us know. Thanks a lot. Have a great weekend and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>
this is going to end up just being absolutely beautiful and it's so smooth almost looks like a flamingo there with that little eye doesn't it that's just amazing flowering cherry very small tree very unusual tree it's for sale 